All right, hello everyone. I got a new tool today, so I'm not sure how to work it. Um, let's see, you can come on in. Okay. Come on over, let's see. Is, uh, hey John. All right, so we are on site in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we've gotten several requests to show off the new 2020 model of the Freightliner. So I've got a couple reps from uh, Freightliner directly. Once it's on site here and one is uh, works for the dealership and they're gonna show us off the truck. So I'm actually standing outside the Z building. We get a lot of confusion about where leasing is. So if you are getting into a truck, whether it's a company or a lease truck, you're gonna to wanna to enter this building behind me. So it is the most south building um, at our headquarters and it's called the Z building. So you'll enter through this door by, behind me here and um, they'll help you out. If you walk right through the doors, it walks directly into success leasing. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and we're gonna go and oh, hey, you want to get in our video? Are you getting in the truck? Yeah. yeah, let's see. I uh, don't know how to work this yet. Come here. Wait. Wait for it. Hi. How's it going? What's your name? My name is Sammy Ajman. Where are you from? I'm from Africa, Ghana. Nice. But actually, I live at Columbus, Ohio. Cool. And you're getting yeah. your truck today? Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to get? Uh, Freeliner. Freeliner? Are you yeah. excited? Yeah. Yeah? I well, love it. Yeah. Cool. I love to be with Prime, you know. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. You too. All right. We're going to walk out to the truck now. Uh. All right, so if you're just tuning in, we are going to show you the 2020 model of the Freightliner with Jeff and Brad from our Freightliner uh, dealership. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask them now. We'll try to get to as many as possible. Here's another 2020 model. This is actually Mad Max, if anybody knows him. He just got his truck. I haven't even taken it off a lot yet. He's super excited. Nice little patriotic theme there. All right. And this is the truck we're going to be looking at, which hasn't been striped yet. It is a brand new truck. Very pretty. All right, hey guys, how's it going? Good, Good. how are you? Good. Good. All right, what's your names and what do you do? I'm Jeff Wara. I'm the on-site Freightliner rep here at Prime. I sit over at, at uh, by uh, um, driver lineup. Um, I'm here full time and you can get a hold of me anytime you need to for whatever issues you have, whatever questions you have. Um, I'm here to help you with uh, the shops out there, whatever you need. All right. And I'm Brad Sturgis. I'm the general manager at Springfield Freightliner and uh, work with Prime on a daily basis on the truck specs and orders, et cetera, and all that good stuff. Awesome. All right. You're going to show us the truck? You betcha. Okay. Absolutely. Let's hear about it. You want to do, this is the 2020 uh, Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, started delivering these to you and your fleet in January just a few months ago there's probably three or four hundred in the fleet now and you're in the process of in servicing roughly 150 60 a month from now till the end of the year uh, this is our best aerodynamic truck that we've ever built uh, the previous Cascadia it's a little too early to have numbers on the this new one but the previous Cascadia uh, eight and a half uh, easily achievable and you've got operators doing nine and we've even got a couple that are well into the tens so uh, a, a great truck uh, great reliability our engine our dd15 engine with our dt12 transmission uh, combined up with our assurance uh, safety system you know we're the only ones in the industry that have that kind of uh, continuity between drivetrain and safety system and it makes a huge difference in the way the truck drives awesome well let's look inside Okay, so we are in a full size truck, so we do carry lightweights and full size trucks. Let's, uh, what do you want to show us first? Well, let's look at the bunk area here and then we can put this ladder away. Okay. Uh, your standard spec, of course, is a, a upper and lower bunk. Uh, the lower bunk is 40 by 80. Uh, the upper bunk is standard with this aluminum ladder, so it's lightweight, but very sturdy. I'm almost 6'4", and uh, I'm not a little guy, and as you can see, it's very sturdy. Um, so the uh, I'll, I'll show you how this upper bunk goes back. 
so you can see, and we'll get this out of our way so Andrea has some has some place to uh, to stand. Well, maybe <laughs> live TV, That's right? That's the beauty of live. There you go. We're going to leave that down right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is a brand new truck. Yeah, so. brand new. Haven't even PDI'd it yet. Um, so this folds up out of the way. And, of course, your lower bunk has got lots of storage underneath. Um. <laughs> Come on, Brad. There we go. So oh, we've nice. got three compartments underneath the bunk. Um, so uh, your HVAC system for the bunk is actually underneath this part of the cabinet here. So lots of storage, uh, two windows, standard, one on each side, and then upper bunk windows also, which these are, they're all screened and so you can vent with them. Um, the cabinet setup, everybody's always interested in that. Um, the first thing I'd point out is the refrigerator area. Uh, have room for what we call a dorm size fridge. So the standard setup is tie downs in electrical power for you to put your own fridge in here, which is much cheaper. They're not in a cabinet where they overheat and burn up, uh, and you sell them in your store down here. So uh, they're easy to procure, easy to install, and much higher, as you can see. You, you've got a lot of room here for a fridge or a fridge-freezer combo if you wanted it. Up above, you've got a microwave cabinet that also has a TV antenna in it. If you want to put your TV in here, some people want the TV enclosed. It's tie down for the microwave. And then of course an upper cabinet up here in the top for storage. And then forward of that over the passenger seat also is another cabinet. Um, there is an option for a plasma TV holder. If you'd like it, it sits right here, folds up out of the way uh, over against this side wall here. That is available as an option if you want it. Um, on the other side, uh, of course, we start with the upper cabinet. And then we've got a closed closet here. It's a close hang-up pole here. Some people hang, some people fold and put them in here. Uh, there's a writing surface here that's standard. It pulls out. And then there's another small storage area. And like I said before, this is a HVAC unit here, so there's gotcha. no access there. Uh, same forward over the console storage here. And then uh, you've also got overhead storage up in here. And one thing I would point out in here too is how clean this is. When you get up, you're not hitting your head. A lot of trucks are way, way out here, uh, you know, with the overhead console and ours is not that way. And you have storage. Yep, we've always got storage on both sides. Uh, right over the steering wheel there. So each each operator's got a, his little own personal space there. All right, well, let's take some questions. Um, if you're just tuning in, we are with Jeff and Brad. Say hi, Brad. I'm Hello. learning how to use this new camera thing that I got. Um, so excuse the bad camera skills. But Rondell Sharp said, does the microwave comp compartment um, have out installed in it? Does it have an outlet installed in it? Yes, yes. If I miss that, my, that's my bad. Yes, it does have an outlet. Gotcha. And these all have 1500 watt inverters, correct? Uh, you install 1500 watt inverters. That okay, is correct. When the APU goes in. Okay. Um, let me see. I think I missed some other ones. Dun, dun, dun. Can we, Vinny uh, Bywin said, can we order the ACE 2 with the Aero X package? Yes, you can. That's, that's available as an option. The, this truck, when we do the outside, you'll see it has a lot of the features of the Aero X package. Not all of them. There's a few that you may or may not be excited about, but yes, the Aero X package is available. All right, Larry Olvenek said, do you have the models with the driver's lounge? Uh, yes, available as an option. Okay, so they would just do that through successfully? Soon. Yes, uh, the driver's lounge option, you've probably seen the pictures, but it's uh, actually the bed goes up in the back wall, so it's completely out of the way. So when it comes down, it's one piece, not one of these three piece segmented, very uncomfortable bunks and it'll actually makes a small dinette table where there's room for you know there'd be room for me on each side so and it's a there's a nice table uh it's it's a nice little setup and it's uh it's there's several people order them as options on the trucks okay and then steve zephyr said what's the hp and ftlbs after prime spec okay the horsepower and 
The uh, standard spec is a 400 horsepower Detroit DD15. I say 15 because we're the only 15 liter engine in your fleet. The rest of them are 13s. So you have a lot more displacement there. So 400 horsepower, but 1750 torque. So, you know, the with these engines, we try to gear them down. This has a 215 gear ratio in it. So we want your torque and your horsepower curves to cross at the same time. So at 65 miles an hour, you're at peak torque with this truck. So you don't need quite as much horsepower, but you have more torque. Of course, torque is what you feel on the ground when you're driving. And I, other than a major engine problem, I don't think we've ever had a complaint with this uh, engine drivetrain setup uh, as far as low power because they just are, uh, they're just absolute beast. All right, Patricia Gore said, is the bunk bigger than the 2018 model? Uh, no, it is not. It is the same. Okay. And I know there's one more question that I messed up here. Dun -dun. David Allen said, do they come with the window curtains? Uh, yes, they come with covers for the windows. We just took them off so it was a little, looked a little lighter in here when we're okay. trying to film. Also gotcha. want to point out while we're in the bunk area, the upper bunk and ladder is rated for 400 pounds because there was a question about that. So they are very sturdy. It's good rating. Great. Thank you. Let me scroll back down here. All right. So let's see. Uh, Evelyn said the bunk heater unit will be installed under the bed like the older ones. Correct. Okay. Yes. Prime will install that when they also install the uh, uh, APU and inverter. Okay. Um, Robert just said mine doesn't have an outlet. I'll have to check again. Maybe I missed it. Yeah, sh uh, check it. It should be, with that microwave cabinet, it should be standard. Okay. Um, David Nichols said the lightweight Cascadia is for company drivers. Can company drivers get full-size trucks? Yes. So we'll Range that with the leasing. Yeah, it all depends on availability. If you're yep. a lease driver, you're going to pick your truck. If you're a company driver um, and you're going to be solo, we typically put you in a lightweight, but you can request a full-size. All right, um, Jorge Vieira said, can the microwave component uh, compartment handle the heat from a toaster oven? Ooh. <laughs> I'll get back with you on that. Uh, not, I'm going to say no, probably. Okay. Um, Christopher Jones said, how much is the upgrade to a driver's lounge? Do you know that? No, I would recommend that you contact leasing uh, for specific pricing. Okay. They have all that, and I, I hate to misquote it. Thing. All right. Cliff Hubler said, can we order the black anodized, is that how you say that, wheels from Freightliner on the Ace Lease? Uh, I, you know, that would be another question for, uh, th they are available as a factory option. Uh, I don't know on the Ace Lease side. We've never actually done one in this fleet. So that, okay. that would be a question for leasing. Okay. I know Springfield Powder Coating has done some. Yeah, the they, they've done some. Yeah. Locally. Okay. Richard Chandler said, average miles per gallon. Um, at, you know, there's a lot that goes into fuel mileage, but in this setup with the 215 direct and the DD15 with the DT12, a fleet average on the old Cascadia was about eight and a half. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be there or better. All right. Jeff Tyson asked, is there a footwell light? Uh, there is. That is part of a option package called premium lighting, which we, we have available as an option. But it's not on the standard? It's not on the standard, no. Okay. And then I noticed this light up here. Is this new? Uh, yeah. Well, it came with the original Cascadia, but it is an LED dome light for both the sleeper uh, and the cab, and that is standard. Okay. Um, James Young said, why don't they have outlets in the bunk anymore? Um, actually, uh, outlet-wise, there are two outlets in the dash, power outlets in the dash, along with the cigarette lighter and cigarette lighter, and there are two in the sleeper control panel, which I don't know if you want to try to, they're on that far edge there, Andrea, over here. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. So that that is the max I can put in at the factory is is four power outlets and uh, and uh, one cigarette lighter. And then of course you'd have your inverter plug for your. Okay. Um, why don't you tell us about the dash? What's going on? Anything changed? Uh. Yeah, a little bit. Up here, while we're up here in the cabinetry, I'll point out that we pre-wire for your CB radio. So okay. your power, your tie down, and your coax is all here. Uh, all the antennas on this truck are uh, in the roof cap internally built for aerodynamics, so there's no outside antennas. Okay. Um, I think I'll sit down over here if that's all right. Um, standard comes with an ashtray. 
these cup holders, uh, uh, this, these four holes here, these are pre-drilled for your uh, Qualcomm. Okay, so your... this hasn't been specced at all. No. Why don't you no. tell them about that process? How does that work? When you uh, guys get a truck. Okay, so we'll, we, we'll get a truck in and normally figure about one week by the time we PDI it and uh, get it prepped. What does PDI mean? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, pre-delivery. <laughs> we go through the truck with standard checklist, check everything over, make sure that everything's good to go. Fluid levels are strong. You know, just things like tires are inflated to the right, everything like that. Get the truck road ready. And, uh, and then Charlie at Stripes, of course, stripes the truck up per your instructions. And then we deliver it over here. Primal install their APU and uh, they do a few things, uh, several things to it while it's here. So usually you can figure about a week to, from the time a truck gets delivered to our lot till we get it to you all over here and you can get your thing done. Okay, and how many do they add? I think you mentioned this earlier. How many is Prime getting per month right now? Um, the schedule for this year, standard trucks like this one is 160 a month, and uh, lightweights is 25 a month, uh, starting again in May. So. Okay. All right, while you're up there, uh, Daquan D said, is the truck equipped with adaptive cruise control and lane keep? Uh, yes, both. Both uh, part of the assurance system, uh, so it's integrated into the dash. Uh, but yes, th that is all standard. Um, Seth Craven said air vents for top bunk. Uh, yes. Standard. Uh, I can show you. Here. This actually adjusts here. Oh, okay. All right. You guys are just tuning in. We are looking at a Freightliner 2020 model with Brad and Jeff from Freightliner. Um, so if you have any questions, comment below. If we miss them, um, you can comment again or we will follow up and answer that we haven't, any that we've missed. Um, Elizabeth Stoll said, which you may not know this, if you have no intention of training, can you not have the top bunk? If they're doing a, a custom truck, can they get it without it? Um, I, once again, I would defer to leasing on <laughs> okay. that. The standard spec is two bunks and there's a lot of reasons to have two, but I mean, yeah, I, I would talk to leasing. I'm, I'm sure they can work that out with sure. you. Okay. Robert Dust uh, said he's had his new Freightliner for two weeks and he's averaging 9.5, running 63. Love you, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> All right. Uh, Brandon Lampart said that the driver lounge looks like, I think that's what he was talking about, is running $3,000 extra. So if you have any questions on extras in the truck, you, we actually have an online ordering process now on successleasing.com. Um, and you can actually, if you're within 120 days of finishing your lease, you can order a new truck and um, you, they price out all the stuff as you add it. So you can see what it would cost you and then delete stuff if it's too much. Um, Vinny Bryan said, can you order, oh, we already, asked. hold on. Okay, Kyle has some flow, said, can you put a full size fridge and bigger converter? Um, the largest inverter that we will install at the factory is 1800. So we don't recommend any more than that. Uh, I know there's some out there, but we, nor Detroit, would recommend that. In the fridge, you can put as large a fridge in that'll fit in this space that's behind the Andrew here. And I, I haven't actually measured it, but I mean, it's big. I'm six four, so I mean, I'd say we got what do you think, Jeff? Three and a half, four feet there. Yes, uh, that you can uh, that you could put a fridge in there. The biggest one I've seen comes just right below it, and it's got a, a refrigerator on the bottom and a freezer on the top. Okay. So. Yeah, that is a very large space. It yeah, it's, like. it's nice. That's something people have been asking for for years. Okay. Um, Flip Child said, will the lightweight come with bunks or just one bed? Uh, just one bed. Um, Curtis Park said, is there a top bed option with driver loft? Uh, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> I'll, I'll get an answer to that. Okay. I don't believe so, but I'll check it and see. All right. Um, Brian O. Cobain said, what are you guys governed at? Brad doesn't have to answer this. Uh, it's a prime uh, policy, but we are governed at 65 on lease and 62 on company. Um, I would say one thing on that. Okay. Back in the day, the faster we went, you know, the more horsepower we had, the more torque we have. These electronic engines are way different now. So you have less torque at 70 or 75 miles an hour than you do on this truck, which the sweet spot, the way that you gear these trucks is 65. So, I mean, 
you're going to get less power out of them at 70 than they are at 65. We hear this, oh, you neuter the truck, you neuter the engine all the time, but really that is just not an issue anymore. You're getting 1,750 foot-pounds uh, at 63, 64 miles an hour, so they've got plenty of power. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Steph, Steve Zephyr said, is the truck 400 horsepower with factory spec or prime spec? No, factory. That's, that is our best fuel mileage setting is 400 horsepower with 1750 so a little bit lower horsepower with a with more torque okay. Susie Tiller said can the ladder go up while the top bunk is down uh yes <laughs> just not you can't Brad. tell you but not, not, not right now but yeah <laughs> Brad can't figure it out but yeah. yes okay um Evelyn said do they offer the Cascadia embroidered seats again uh yes that is part of the uh premium interior package uh, there's two levels of interior. Uh, this this is the uh, the level that's standard on your trucks, and then there's a step up interior wise that would include the Cascadia stitching on the back. So are these leather? Uh, this cloth is, is your fabric. vinyl setup. Oh, it, vinyl. It is vinyl with cloth insert. Now on seats, you've got lots of options. You can go all cloth, you can go all vinyl, or you can go cloth with vinyl on the outside edge. Um, that's kind of a personal preference. There's also three different seats that are available. Uh, this is the standard seat. There's a, we call a level two, which is an uh, upgrade, has a little more lumbar support and uh, a little uh, extra uh, isolation in it. it. Helps it ride a little bit better. And then we have the Mac Daddy seat, which is a level three that has all that plus ventilation and heating. So, and there is a swivel option now. Oh, so really? I get asked that a lot. And that's in the passenger seat? Yeah, uh, on the driver's seat. Driver's seat, yeah. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Jorge Vieira said, is there space on top of the storage compartments to store totes? Ooh, I would not think so. Pretty angled. I, I think you'd have to pin them up there somehow. Yeah. You'd have yeah. to secure them. You'd have to secure there, them. You'd have to secure them. Just to nice them. area there, but it's, it's yeah. kind of angled down, so I would not. Okay. Um, let's see. What else we got? Let's see. What's a question for Jeff? Let's put them to use here. Uh, um, Robert Des said, why does the sleeper light turn off after 15 seconds by itself? Um, it, it, do, it does not normally do that. Um, if yours is doing that, we just need to check your spec or your, the setup and make sure that it's, it's set right. If not, we need some reset. parameter change. Yeah, parameters. Yeah. Sometimes it gets set wrong. We just need to reset that. Cool. Uh, Rundell Danielle Sharp. Danielle Sharp said, where would the Qualcomm be installed? I think you had mentioned that earlier. Right here, correct. Yeah, the new system is is a tablet. So, I mean, basically, it's right here. Everything else is... So, it's out of the way. Yes, it is out That's of the way. That's a huge... No antenna on the top nice anymore. Nice change. I've yeah. been in some trucks and it's like... Oh, yeah, it takes possible. it over. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, I can see yeah. why it's an annoyance there. Yeah. It's literally in the way. <laughs> yeah, it is the dash. And, uh... All right. Um, Seth Craven said, options for air vents for... We already talked about that one. Um... Syra Christian said, so we don't need a CB antenna. You said that was built in? Yeah, it's all up in the roof cap. Yes. Okay. How many people use CBs still? Quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah? There should, there's a spot right up yeah. here that's got the power and the antenna hookup. Yeah, it's every, everything's here. The tie down, the power, and so your coax. Back in the day, weren't they a little bit larger? I haven't seen a CB, but I get that I question either. on Facebook, yeah. and I'm like, are those still a thing? Um... See. Sorry, I'm looking through questions here. Okay. Um, Russia Boy Banks said, "Do we still get the same amount of space under the bunk?" So you had briefly showed that earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't see you all are going to take a little bit when they do the APU install, but other than that, uh, yeah, you'll you'll have all that space. Now, I will say with the driver's lounge, the way that the seats are more front to back then you're going to give a little bit of room up under the bunk. You need to know that. So if you're, you know, uber worried about cubic storage, you you might think against the driver's lounge. Okay. Um, Marquise Brooks said how much per week for lease. Do you know what these new ones are running? I don't. It's okay. <laughs> no, you can check out success. That's, that's past me. <laughs> these guys in the Come leasing on, department will do everything. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it depends on, like, this is a standard, so it's going to be one price, and then um, if you get extras, it's going to cost you more. 
if you've been leasing for at least three months, then you can order, start, you can put in an order for a new truck with um, custom changes. All right, Robert Parham said, well, will we ever have new 2020 lightweights? So I think you said May, right? Yeah, um, you are getting 2020 lightweights now, oh, yeah. uh, but they're the, I call it the P3, the older Cascadia. We've got some weight savings options coming late summer. They're going to make that truck work in your fleet. So we'll, oh, cool. we'll be switching them over sometime. That was a in, question. That in the got. fall. Okay. Um, Colton said, can I wait on this truck when I come back to upgrade if they don't have this one in? So our trucks change every day, Colton. Um, you can look on successleasing.com backslash inventory. They refresh that page every morning and we literally as soon as trucks become available we're filling them um so just check on there and see what's available but usually I have a mix yeah col we order a standard rotation of color so if you like this particular color and there's always uh, th this is it, this is an easy one to get so okay how many purple ones do we order do you know uh you know i don't know there's i think it's a rotation of 15 colors we we do about five at a time so uh there there's always a good selection of colors you can get Okay. Alfred, Erica, Joe Hinks, they said, did they fix the shifting so it's smoother? Um, the shifting, I don't know what he's comparing it to, uh, if it's a previous DT12, but yeah, I drove this one over here myself today and yeah, it's, it drives like my GMC pickup, to be honest. All right. Where does the TV mount go? Uh, the TV mount, uh, actually fits right here. It's mounted to the sidewall. It takes up to a 22 inch TV and then it will rotate out and around. So, like I said earlier, it's a really good setup for the driver's lounge, and it works fine for here. And of course, guys have come up with other solutions too for TVs. <laughs> okay, um, let me scroll down. We're behind on questions here. If you're just tuning in, we're looking at the 2020, we'll take uh, about 10 more questions. Let's see. I have a custom order 2019 with most of the upgrades. What's the different features in the 2020 versus the 2019? Very, very little on, if you're asking about options, not enough to even talk about. Uh, how they're designed or fit in might be a little different than the, than the 19, but it, it basically, if it was available in the 18, it's going to be available on the 20 or a 19 to a 20, either way. All right. Um, Richard Chandler said, is this an automatic or a 10 speed? This is an automatic. You are taking 99.999 percent uh automatics right now uh this is a 12 speed dt12 uh we've been selling it since 2011 probably been the most successful transmission in my almost 40 year career uh has been absolutely bulletproof uh this year and on highway uh freightliner will build this truck in 94 95 percent of our on highway trucks. So if you take the heavy haul out of that, I mean, it's it's basically a hundred percent in our on highway fleet now. Okay. Well, let's step outside and look at the outside, sure. kind of change our scenery here. Let me show you the dash. I'll show you the, the three point entry handle. So yeah, get them out here. Oh, those, those yeah. are nice. Are those new? Are those uh, no, they were on the older cast. Better hold my camera so I can be safe. Got it. Break it. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. I want to point out something right here. Right here is the main power on and off switch. It's here by the driver's seat. Uh -huh. Main reason I want to point that out is because there is a lot of questions about that. Oh. So right now it's in the on position. You can turn it off and that turns off the power to the truck. Turn it back on. Um, the reason for that is to help save your battery, especially if you're at home for a while okay. or anything like that. If you go to a shop, make sure you check that and make sure it's, it's, it's on before you start the truck and that way it'll avoid a we few issues really there. We really like that to be shut off if you're gonna be out of the truck for more than about 15 minutes. Yeah. There's a lot of parasitic draws from the truck with all the computers and it just, it draws a lot of power. So if you shut it off then you'll know your truck will be fully charged when you right. come back out to it. Okay, so let's look at the uh, lights here. We had several questions about whether they were LED Okay, or so can you get LED? The, the standard lights, these are uh, these are normal headlights. LEDs are available uh, as an option. You haven't made that change in your fleet yet. Um, if you look at all the other lights on the truck, the marker lights, the turn signal lights, everything else, the lights on the back are all LED. So uh, really cuts down on the maintenance. Uh, on those lights, but no, you have not made the change to LED yet. Okay. 
What else are we looking at up here? Um, fog lights are standard. Those are here. Uh, your tow hooks, uh, where they would go if hopefully you never had to be towed, but uh, <laughs> if you did, that's where the towing company would hook it up. Uh, the bumper is a change uh, over uh, last year. It's a few less pieces and uh, attached a little differently, so it's a little easier to repair. You've got your radar antenna up here, of course, for your insurance system. Um, the standard grill is the chrome, and if you look at the side, you'll see the chrome on the air intake and the uh, door handle. We do have a blackout package available. Somebody had mentioned the, the wheels being blacked out earlier. You also, we can order from the factory now a the black grill, and then we'll darken up the, uh, they'll blacken this, and then of course the door handles also. So it's kind of a good look. You've probably seen, so there's a lot of them out there on the yeah. road that have gone that direction. Um, we, if the truck comes with normal lights, can we change to LED afterwards? Uh, I will tell you that it is very difficult. So it, it, it takes a lot of wiring. I, I would not recommend it. If you think you're gonna want it, I would order it on the truck if at all possible. Okay. Um, Anthony X said, when is Freightliner going to come out with under cap lights, AKA the chicken lights? Uh, I don't see it happening, honestly. They're not gonna have them? No. So what, but this doesn't have the, like on the Peterbilt, they had the big gap right here. Where would, that we just don't have them? They don't do chicken lights? No, you know, most of the chicken lights you see on Freightliners anymore are are installed, you know, locally installed by either the operator or by a different shop. But honestly, we're not fond of them. They, they're a, they're a problem. I mean, there's always something wrong with them. Uh, they're a draw on the truck. It's just, I don't know, we're just, we don't get excited about them. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Curtis Park says, does the windshield leak like previous models? No, uh, we've probably been past the windshield leak problem for a year and a half, two years now. So, no, we're, we're not having any kind of, if you will notice on the new truck, it is a one-piece windshield versus a two-piece on the older ones, which gives us less opportunity for leaks. And it also allows the camera for the sharing system you can see up there in between. With the center post, you can't have the camera there. So, And when I say camera, that's a lane guidance camera, not a driver cam. I want to Gotcha. That. Um, what color is this truck? This is Viper Blue. It's Viper Blue. It's a gorgeous color. It is a pretty color. And it's in the standard uh, run of colors that you get. So. What's that? We have a blue back here that's also a 2021. Ooh, that I one? believe that's medium contour blue. Max could tell us for sure. Max wave. <laughs> but I believe that's medium contour blue. All right. He's he's super excited. He's been talking about his truck for like a month. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Done, done. Jeff, what's your favorite thing about Freightliner trucks? Favorite thing is the reliability. Yeah? Um, with the amount of trucks we have, um, I'm here to help with whatever you need with shops, but the reliability, I mean, I'll be honest with you, before I came to Freightliner, I wasn't sure about it, but since I've been with Freightliner, I've been here for eight years. I, was, um, I thought you were gonna say like a week or no, something. No, <laughs> no, no, I was, I actually was uh, pleased about the reliability and the way the trucks get taken care of when you're out on the road and everything and the connections we have with the amount of shops and everything if there is an issue to get you taken care of. Awesome and where can they find you? They can find me down in the new plaza by driver lineup. I'm I'm right there uh, next to the driver lineup guy so you can get a hold of me or you can call me uh, whatever you need I'm there. And your number is listed in the Prime Mobile app under my contacts? Yes. Yes okay. All right let's see. Uh, Anthony Robinson said, uh, does the steps come out a little further than the old freights? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But now, like I said just a second ago, with this, you've got a handle on each side, so. Yeah, I like the handles. Those are nice. All right. Take a couple more questions here. Curtis Park said, did they come uh, with upgraded airlines and electrical cord? Uh, yes. You now have standard. We haven't really looked at the back of the truck, but... You now have standard, the three-in-one, which is the cable that is uh, woven all the way around, so they all stay together, and that, that's been a nice. We've had a whole lot less issues with rubbing and tearing those up uh, since we've gone to the three-in-one, which we did that about a year ago. Okay. Um, I did, was gonna point out if it's okay. Yeah, go for it. Uh, the, uh, like I said before, the back, the lights on the back of the cab, are uh, LEDs now. You, they come standard with two, 
And we do have a few operators that like the uh, LED lights mounted up high in addition. So you get these two plus two more for down here for hookup or, you know, some of the tank guys like it. Uh, one change we did make on this current deal is you have two sets of load lock carriers now instead of one. So you've got one set on each side, which is kind of nice. Okay. So um, um, your standard with wide base, tires and wheels, uh, all Michelin's all the way around. Uh, this is our new aero uh, uh, quarter fender that uh, we started putting on at the beginning of this year. So. There was a question about Assurance 5. Yes. Uh, it'll, it will be standard starting September 1st builds. So the, the thing that adds is pedestrian uh, recognition in the camera. Uh, so if you can't see something that's out in front of you, it's going to let you know about it. And it actually does Assurance uh, and also uh, Adaptive Cruise to Zero. Those are the two big changes that will be standard. So cool. somebody had asked that question. I yeah, think. we got a couple of those. Yeah. So. Um, Charles Smith said, are there 12 volt sockets in the sleeper? So in 2019, it didn't have any. Yes, yes. There's uh, two in the sleeper control panel back there. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Stoll said, my lease is up in October. When should I order my new truck? Uh, you'll get a notice from Jen and leasing, but I would say, you know, start looking at options 120 days out and then have your order firmed up a little bit after that. And we have trucks coming all year. So if you just tell us when you want it, if you want to take a couple weeks off, still want to make sure you get back for that retention bonus, then uh, we can, you know, Jennifer can just specify the date she wants the truck here and we'll work backwards from that. We'll keep you on the road as long as you can. And when you get back, your APU will be installed. You'll be ready to go. Okay. Um, Jonathan Grover said, can you order this truck without the mug holder? Without the... Mug holder? Yeah, the, uh, the thermos holder, I think oh, is probably... Holder. Yes, <laughs> that can be omitted. That's kind of an old school thing that uh, some, some people still like it. Okay. Um, Evelyn said, if I order my truck July 18th and received it November 18th, is it a 19 model or would it be a 2020? No, we're, these are all 2020s. So anything coming in now yeah. is 2020s. Yeah. So. yeah. In the truck uh, manufacturing world, anything built in 19 will be a 20 model. Anything built in 20 will be a 21 model. So we're about a year ahead. Okay. Uh, Mark State said, has Freightliner solved the repetitive braking of the SCAM2 brackets? Yes. Uh, man, we're getting some old issues there. <laughs> wow, you guys are really Mark coming back. Mark won't let it go. And, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, that uh, has been fixed for, I'm going to guess, at least three years now. So uh, they've beefed those up. And, and one thing that will help with that, too, we see a lot of guys uh, pull their parking brake on before they come to a complete stop, and that contributes yeah. to that issue. So. We need to uh, that, but we I I don't remember the last time I saw a broken S cam. Have you, Jeff? No, it's been yeah, been a it's, while. yeah, that's a that's a that's an oldie bit of goodie. <laughs> okay, Mike Slushy said, do the uh, those upper rear lights that you're talking about also come with it if it's a flatbed truck? Is that an addition that they have? Yeah, to have? it's an option. You can specify it, but okay. yes, they'll and they'll mount them either inside or outside the side extenders. They're small LEDs, but they're pretty bright. Those have gotten to be a little more popular. Um, James Duvall said, is Prime still using the in-house deer guards or did they change to after aftermarket? Still so in-house to my knowledge. I, well, you're going to have to ask for sure. They're testing some, I, some I, outside yes. built. I know they, and I'm not going to mention the name, but I know they did test some. Okay. Uh, I, I'm going to assume both are probably available. Yeah, I think so. And we've, we've gone past the issue of having it. Uh, affect the forward looking yeah, radar. Yeah, so you know, you heard. We had, yeah. we had some issues with the... Uh, with some of them affect the front radar, and there was a little uh, learning curve there, but I, I think we're past <laughs> we're that now. Okay. Um, Elizabeth still said, can we get still get satellite TV? So where would that go? Yes. Uh, you all install the, I think it's, Ac is it ActiView? Epic, Epic, Epic View. Uh, and it just mounts right on, without the, there, as you can see, there's no uh, Qualcomm antenna now, so there's plenty of room back there to install it. But normally they just install it right above the sleeper seam there in the center. And that, um, I think they can do that through leasing, Elizabeth. Yes. Oh, Kyla's on here answering some questions. Thanks, Kyla. Okay. All right, we'll take uh, two more questions. Anthony, can I upgrade my quarter panels with those new style? You know, I'll get back with you on that. I don't know why you, you couldn't. They look like they're standard size, but we'll find that out for you. Okay. And I think that's... Wait, is that what I just said? Can I upgrade my quarter fenders with mm -hmm. them? Yeah, that was... A, 
We commented twice. All right, anything else you want to tell us about this truck before we sign there off? There was a question about disc brakes. Disc brakes are an option to have on this Oh, on this yes. Truck. So they just, that would be an add-on? Yes. yes. Okay. And you could do front. If you do front, you can do front by itself, or you got to do front and rear. We don't want to do rear disc at front, it, you know, drum, but it is available as an option. And we are seeing some uh, operators ordering. Okay. Um, talked about that. I think we got everything. There was, uh, okay, there was one other question about adjusting the headlights. Yes, there is at the at the base of the of the headlight assembly on the inside of the wheel well. There's a screw. You turn it counterclockwise for the the light to adjust down, and and clockwise for it to adjust up. So you can adjust that if needed. If they are confused on that, can they visit you or the shop? Where do they, they can go? visit us? The shop. It's also in the uh, driver's manual. Also, there's okay. a section on that specifically with pictures and how to adjust it. Okay, perfect. Um, Christina Jones said, "Is there a toolbox option?" Uh, the, there is an option for a toolbox. I believe that uh, you will install that locally. If you see the people down in detail, they'll get that installed for you and let you know, depending on uh, what division you're going into, what you'll have room for. Okay, and David Allen said, any exterior storage compartments? Uh, I didn't see yes. any. If we the wanna, side. There's, while we're here, there is an option for the baggage door on this side. Uh, there's also, uh, the one on the driver's side is standard, so. Uh, anyway, so you've got that and, you, and you, it's exactly the same on the other side, so. Gotcha. Uh, and then another pretty popular option if, uh, is the uh, sleeper access door. We can actually put an access door on both or either side. Okay. Which will actually the whole it makes it a little easier to put some stuff back in the sleeper and some guys want a, another way out so that's a pretty popular option okay sounds good well thank you guys for showing us this uh, truck thanks for everybody who tuned in um, we're you. gonna i'm gonna pop over here and talk to max about his his truck all right we'll see how he likes it all right, all right. thank you you guys thank have you. any questions reach yeah. out to brad or jeff come, you guys come see have, me yeah, you guys are in the driver meeting, right? On Fridays? Yep. Yes, every Friday morning we are there. Yep. And what time is that? Uh, 8 o'clock, usually 8 to 9.15. Yeah, so all, most of our vendors uh, for our major trucks and the equipment that we use come to that meeting. So definitely join us and you can bug them in person yep. about any questions that you have remaining. Absolutely. We'll be there. All right, thanks all right, guys. Thank you. Let's check out Max truck. It's a beautiful day here in Springfield, Missouri. patriotic theme he also has a 2020 model just got it Let's see if he'll tell us about it all right max what's up not much miss andrea what's your name how long you've been driving for prime uh max lorenson i've been with prime 18 years going on next month 19 years Woohoo! and you just got a new lease just got a new one what's your um, inspiration Military. My my uh, brothers and sisters in arms and uh, honoring the ones that have fallen and given their lives for the freedom of this country. And you served, right? Yes, I did. How long? I uh, served for three years. Three years? What branch? Uh, U.S. Navy. Nice. All right. I love it. What do you? Are you excited for your truck? Oh, yes. What do you yes, think? Yes, I am. I like the way the uh, graphics turned out, especially on the hood. Um, that... That there is very, very special to me. Awesome. Well, congratulations. When, when do you get your first load? Uh, I'm hoping to roll out tomorrow, if possible. Uh, possibly as late as Thursday, the very latest. All right, well, safe travels. Well, I'm gonna do my best. I gotta keep up the uh, record right now. I'm at going? two million, I'm working on my third. All right, thanks, Max. Thank you, Miss Andrew. All right, thanks for tuning in to our live video to check out the 2020 model of our Freightliners. That was a full-size truck. We will try to find a lightweight truck, and um, we got some requests on that. If you have any other ideas for live videos, comment below, and we will get to them as quickly as possible. Thanks, and have a great day.